Hey everyone, Michelle Silvestri with Radcliffe and Associates here. Today I have Christina Smolskis with Lawyer's Title on to answer some questions. Christina, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. I always enjoy speaking and working with your team. So I appreciate you having me on here. Yes, and on behalf of my team and our clients, I want to thank you for continuing to assist us with recording questions and helping us uh, get things done. Even as this pandemic started, you have been there to uh, make sure business still gets handled as usual. So thank you for that. Um, I know on one of our videos, we've already addressed the forbearance when it comes to mortgages but a lot of people still have questions about their property taxes. So have you heard of any extensions with property taxes or what is the situation right now? So as of right now, they have not come out and made a statement that the property taxes are gonna be extended. So please make sure that you're paying your property taxes because if you don't, you can get yourself into penalties. And when are property taxes due, typically? So typically you have to remember one thing with property taxes no darn fooling around and it clearly states that in the statement right so no they're due in november darn they're delaying or due in december and then fooling they're due in february and then around they're due in april so after those time frames if you don't pay them you will have a penalty i see and if you just purchased your home you know at the beginning of the year would you see your name on the property tax statement so the assessment role lists the assessees so okay. they only put a tax roll out one time a year in January. So if you buy a property on January 1st, it's going to have the previous owner's name on it. That does not mean that you don't have to pay those property taxes. You're still liable for paying those property taxes, even though the tax bill is not in your name. And they're not responsible for sending you a new bill. It is your duty to know when your property taxes are due and to pay them in a timely manner. Gotcha. And, you know, right now people are trying to figure out how to consolidate bills and, you know, make payments with, you know, a smaller budget to work with. What's going to happen if people are unable to make their property tax payments? What are the penalties? So if you don't pay your taxes for five years and they are truly delinquent for five years, your property can go into a tax sale, which means your property can be sold off and you would no longer own it, just like if you didn't pay your mortgage payment. Gotcha. Thank you so much. Those are helpful um, things to hear and hopefully people can plan accordingly. Um, one thing I know people always have a question about that we, um, when we talk to clients is title insurance and why that's something important for them to have when purchasing a home. So title insurance is going to protect both parties. It's going to protect the seller and the buyer. When you buy an owner's policy, it takes the seller's name and information and any liens attached to the seller's name off of the property and it puts the new buyer's name on the property. It doesn't put their loan on the property. That's a separate policy that the lenders do require, but you definitely want to get an owner's policy because you want to make sure that you're protecting yourself as a seller and you're protecting yourself as a buyer. If you didn't have a policy as a buyer and you bought a property, you could be taking on any mechanics liens or anything that was recorded against the property. So that's why it's really important to get that insurance. Awesome. So it's a way of protecting, you know, someone who's purchasing a home from inheriting the liens that were taken on by the seller or vice versa, making sure the seller has a clean bill of health before um, moving on from their home. Correct? Yes, exactly. That's exactly right. Awesome. Thank you so much for the helpful information. And if someone had questions about their property taxes, going back to that for a second, um, who would they want to reach out to for those questions? So it's always most important to reach out directly to your tax assessors. All you have to do is call them, give them your property address, and they'll be able to assist you. Awesome. And if somebody has questions for you, um, title questions or recording questions, what's the best way to reach out to you? Just give me a call on my cell phone, 714 318 six seven five eight and i'm happy to chat with you and answer any questions that you have awesome thank you so much christina and i hope you and your family are staying safe during this time um, for those of you watching the video if you guys have questions about the ever-changing real estate market for myself or anyone here at radcliffe and associates please feel free to comment below um, or message us directly and i hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your day thank you so much christina thank you